you like bees? I don't like bees. You don't like bees? Why? I don't like bees. I'm scared of bees. I'm scared of bees. What do bees give us? Honey. 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 Do you like honey? Yeah. Yes. Do you know how bees make honey? No. Anybody? Well, we have about four Sabbaths, and we're going to talk about that. What do they do, Maggie? That's absolutely right. They get pollen from a flower. I'm going to show you one picture this morning about bees. You know, bees like flowers. And they go from flower to flower to flower. Why? Maggie knows. In the middle of a flower are little stems. Maybe they're tall and maybe they're little. And there's something on those called pollen. Pollen. And it's sticky. And it comes off pretty easy. You got some on you? Yeah. Well, these bees are on a flower. And they're getting pollen. And if you look at their little legs, that's all the pollen they're getting. They have like little baskets on their legs, a little pouch, and the pollen goes right in there. It makes the bee pretty heavy, but he still gets up in the air. But if you look, when you see bees in the summertime and in the spring, even now they come out, you can see they have pollen on their legs, and they got it from the flower. Miss, what's your last to tell you? Last summer, I got, I got caught by a bee. You got stung. It isn't fun, is it? Well, they protect themselves. You see the pollen? Outside his bare feet, and he, and he kept on a bee. Yeah, it's, I got it's stung. not any fun. I got, I got stung by a yellow jacket. Oh, no, then they're bigger. I'm never. Yeah. You see the pollen on there? The pollen is that little yellow stuff stuck to their legs. And then they take it back to the beehive. And that's where they make the honey. Isn't that neat? Do you like honey, Maggie? I do too. And we're going to talk more about bees, but. Oh, I, I brought some honey, and there are different kinds of bees. There are bees like this, and these bees are fuzzy, and there are great big bees. And I wanted to tell you that in Matthew, in the Bible, there's a chapter, number five, called the Bee Attitudes. Have you ever heard of that? No. The B attitudes. Let's all say it. The B attitudes. One day when Jesus was here on this earth, you know, the people followed him everywhere he went. But he loved the people. And one day, Lachlan, let's listen. One day, Jesus was walking beside the sea, and a lot of people were following him. So he went up a little ways where the, the hill went up and up, and he sat down, and all those people sat down. Now why did they come to see Jesus? Anybody know? Some of them wanted to be healed. Some of them were sick. Some of them had bad legs and couldn't walk. You know, they were sick. And they knew, they'd heard that Jesus would heal them. And you know, some just wanted to come and see this Jesus. Who is this Jesus? We've been hearing about him and the things he does and the things he says. We just want to listen. We want to look at him and see, what is this man? But then there were some there, Levi. It made them feel good. It made them feel good to be near Jesus. You know, there must have been something about Jesus' face. 
When he looked at people, it made them feel good inside. It made them feel like, he loves me. He doesn't even know me, but he loves me. Who is this Jesus? So when Jesus had all these people here, he decided he would talk to them about B attitudes. He wanted to tell them what people would be like that would be in heaven. Do you think people in heaven will be people who are angry? No. no. You don't think there'll be angry people in heaven? I don't think so either. Do you think there'll be people in heaven who are crying? <laughs> And so unhappy. Do you think there'll no. be people like that? No. I don't think so either. Do you think there'll be people who are proud and have their nose in the air and say, oh, no. I'm better than those people? No. You know, no. I have better clothes and I'm prettier and my hair looks better. Do you think there'll be people like that? No. Do you think there'll be people like, oh, maybe boys and girls who say, I don't want to play with him. I don't like playing with him. I don't like her. I don't like the clothes she wears. You think there'll be children like that? No. No. And Jesus wanted to tell the people, this is the kind of people that will be in heaven. Lachlan is not listening. All right, so what I did was he had... More than five Beatitudes, more than six Beatitudes, but we're just going to talk about two today. Can you see all these pictures? I want you, can you see them? Rebecca and Rachel, can you see the pictures? Okay, so I'm going to pick a B here, and I'm going to pick this one right here. And this B says, be joyful. Joyful. Does anybody know what that means? Yeah. No. Put your strap back up. <laughs> Be joyful. Okay. Um, joyful. How, what, what is joyful? Christmas morning. Christmas morning. <laughs> uh, you know what? When somebody new is baptized, aren't we joyful? Because they know Jesus. Aren't we joyful to know that Jesus died for us? Aren't we? Aren't we joyful? Because if we didn't have Jesus die for us, we'd never be in heaven, would we? We wouldn't go. Jesus wants us to be joyful. And here's what he said. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Now, he doesn't mean poor like you don't have any money or you don't have any clothes. He doesn't mean poor like that. He means poor because you feel like you need Jesus in your life. You want him so bad to be in your life. Blessed are those people because they're going to be in heaven. Some people, they don't think they need Jesus. Have you seen people out that don't look like they need Jesus? They act like they don't need Jesus. People are doing lots of things that are not good things. They don't need Jesus. But Jesus says, blessed are the people who need me, who know they need me. That's important. And then the second one, this be attitude, it's be happy. Now can you find, let's see. Let's see. Isaiah, can you find somebody up here who's not happy? Can you come up and point to this person who's not happy? <laughs> Definitely. Definitely not happy. But what do you think she is? I mean, what, what's she feeling? What do you think she's feeling? Mm -hmm. Mean? And she looks kind of mean, doesn't she? Anybody else? What do you think this girl is feeling here? Mad. Mad, yeah. Mean and mad, that's right. What about this little girl here? Uh, sad. Sadly. 
right. That's right. She's not happy, is she? She's sad. Let's see. What about this little boy here? He's lonely. He looks sad. What is he? He looks lonely. Lonely. Yeah. He doesn't have any. He feels like he doesn't have anybody. And she looks sad. He looks sad. She looks sad. Well, Jesus said, blessed, blessed are those who are sad and who are so unhappy because they are going to be in heaven. Now, what did he mean? Blessed are they that mourn. Mourn means, oh, oh, we mourn when we lose somebody, when they die. We mourn when we get hurt. It's feeling sad. It's feeling bad. But this is a different kind of mourn. Boys and girls, when you do something bad, when you don't obey, when, you, when you've said something bad to someone, when you haven't uh, done what you're supposed to, mommy says you need to clean up your room, pick up your stuff, but you don't do it. Uh, mommy says, now I've made some cookies and they're on the table, don't touch them. And mommy says, I want you to be kind to your sisters and your brothers and not be mean to them. Now suppose you don't listen. Suppose you do those things. Does it make Jesus sad? Uh -huh. Does it? Now here's what we should remember. Jesus was nailed to the cross And all of our sins, which are bad things, all of the naughty things, all of the bad things that we do, he died for those. And you know, boys and girls, if I do something I shouldn't do, I'm so sorry. Because I was part of the reason that Jesus died. So if we're going to be sad and unhappy, we need to be unhappy that we're the reason Jesus died. He died for us. So when we don't obey, then what are we doing? If we don't obey, then we're the ones that helped put Jesus on the cross. And we need to be sad for that. But Jesus says if we're sad, and if we're sorry for our sins, and we say, forgive me, Jesus, oh, I'm so sorry I did that, then he says, you're going to be in heaven. We want that, don't we? So we need to be sorry for our sins. And we need to be sorry that they put Jesus on the cross. And we need to be happy and try to do the very best we can. Will Jesus help us? He'll help us, won't he? We need him to help us. All right. Very good. Okay. Now, one more question.